The action of 30 May 1781 was a naval battle fought between two frigates of the Royal Navy and two of the Dutch Republic off the Barbary coast. In the Netherlands it is known as the Ziegevecht Bitch Kaap St. Marie. In a battle lasting more than two hours, Captain William Peer Williams Freeman of the Flora compelled Captain Peter Melville's caster to strike her colours. Shortly after, Captain Gerard Isordyes of Den Briel compelled Thomas Pakenham to strike Crescent. However, Flora came to Crescent's rescue before Orthys could board her, and forced him to retreat. Course. During the Fourth Anglo-Dutch War a fleet returning from the Dutch East Indies left the Mediterranean. Escorted by the 36-gun frigates Castor under Captain Peter Melville van Canby and the Den Briel under Captain Gerard Isordyes. They did not pass Gibraltar unnoticed and were intercepted by two British frigates. The 36-gun Flora under Captain William Peer Williams Freeman and the 36-gun Crescent under Captain Thomas Pakenham. The Dutch frigates reached the Atlantic and fired a salvo at their pursuers, frightening them off. But Canby decided not to pursue the faster British ships but to proceed with their primary objective of escorting the merchantmen. The Dutch ships thus turned south under cover of darkness to reach the Canary Islands. On the morning of 30 May 1781 the Dutch saw the British ships following them. The British opened fire and Canby and Orthys tried and failed to get one of the British ships between them. The battle then became a ship-to-ship -ship action between the Den Brielle and the Crescent in one case and the Castor and the Flora in the other. The Castor was a 23-year-old ship with low-caliber guns and a maximum salvo of 372 pounds thus proving no match for the modern flora with its 720-pound salvo. The caster soon became unmanageable, with her sails and rigging destroyed, holes below the water line, five feet of water in her hold. Most of her guns out of action, 30 of her 230-man crew killed and 40 wounded. Khan B hoisted a white flag, he and his crew were taken on board the Flora and the sinking caster was taken in tow as a prize ship. The battle between Den Brielle and the Crescent was a mirror image of the defeat of the caster. The guns of the Den Brielle brought down the mainmast and mizzen mast of the Crescent for only 12 dead and 44 wounded, compared to the toll on the Crescent of 27 dead and 65 wounded. Both ships were badly damaged however and an hour after the Crescent surrendered the mast of the Den Brielle fell overboard. The Dutch ship also did not have any boats left in a seaworthy condition to take the Crescent as a prize. The Crescent then managed to get taken in tow by the Flora and all guys had to watch his prize escape. Aftermath Using makeshift sails or thighs then reached the neutral port of Cadiz on 2 June. Whilst the fleet he was escorting also reached Spain without being attacked by the British. With two badly damaged ships in tow, Pakenham then met two French frigates in the English Channel and was defeated, though the Flora escaped. Pakenham had refused to resume the command of the Crescent, maintaining that by his surrender to the Den Briel his commission was cancelled, and that when recaptured the ship was on the same footing as any other prize. The caster thus became a French prize and Carnby and the Dutch prisoners were repatriated. In Britain, Pakenham was tried by court-martial for the loss of his ship and honourably acquitted, it being proved that he did not strike the flag teal by the fall of her masts and the disabling of her guns. Further resistance was impossible.